This is Yama Kim Sensei. Uh, today, uh, I will show you very basic installation of a Catalyst uh, Cisco Wireless LAN Controller Catalyst 9800. It may be uh, launched maybe one or two years ago. Uh, not old one, but uh, actually not new, new one, but not new. Uh, actually, today I will test uh, uh, 16.12.4a because my computer, my MacBook is very slow. And this is the topologies what we will, we will use. Actually, there will be a, a PoE and a L3 switch. It will connect it to WLC and also AP. And we will have two VLANs. VLAN 1 is for the AP measurement. And uh, there will be only APs and VLAN 2 is for the data service there will be laptops and smartphones and the other things and I will use Macbook the VMA Fusion then this will connect it with the internally and one of the biggest change from the AOS to the Catalyst is kind of tag actually the APs will have three tags, policy, site, and RF. The policy tag will have very basic wireless so things such as the SSID and authentications and blah blah and police profiles. And site tag has about the AP joining and flex profiles and RF is like about the RFs. So if you see this slide, it shows more details about the AP and tags. So remember, AP is made with three tag. And basically, we will make a VLAN and the YAME, and it will uh, the and police tag will have VLAN and the profile policies. And finally, the each AP has policy and site and RF tag. So this will be done today. And if you see the, the WAC, the 9800, so it, it, it is made with especially three the menus. Monitoring is actually for the monitoring, configuration is for the configuration, <laughs> and we will config VLAN and the policy and the access point here for the uh, very basic configurations. Also, we will make a VLAN, the, at the Ethernet, we will make a trunk. And here, here is administration. Here at the DSP pools, we will make a one DSP pool for the host. And config, this is configuration steps. So we will first we will install the uh, 9800 on Mac, not Windows. And second thing, we will I will show you about the configuration of switch. Then I will start the WSC CLI configuration for the connections for the IP management and uh, I will do very basic configuration of the um, uh, switch I <laughs> switch that switch WSC then finally I make a, a certification for the APs then and reboot reboot is very important if we don't reboot it will not work and sixth step is AP connection then give an IP address and the, the WAC IP, IP but it, it's already done maybe so it, we can save the time and check the service and troubleshooting okay so uh, actually I will use Macbook if I use Windows when I use Windows so trunk didn't work but if, if you can use Windows and VirtualBox I think it depends on the uh, Nick, the Nick, the Nick, the uh, Dadon Q will work or not. Anyway, if you the Dadon Q does not work, you can use only V1. And when I use MacBook, the, you have to replace E1000 with the VMAX Net 3. I will show you. Okay, the library, go and add a new one. And already I have installed, so I will use this image ISO, not the OVA. Continue and it use this one other Linux and kernel 64 
down continue and customize and VWC 16.12.4a then first I will add one more nick and it will use separate nick card and the memory will uh, uh, 4196 4 gig and everything is okay then you can start but before start please you have to do this one if you don't do that you have to reboot again so uh, it's very time consuming it, we can save six minutes okay this one so write Fourteen and show package content. There is a VMX file. You can use editor and if you see it one thousand VMX net three, you can replace. Then don't forget to save and and now you can start. It takes a six minutes.
자, 부팅이 다 끝났습니다. 그래서 부팅이 끝났기 때문에 설정을 한번 해보겠습니다. 먼저 저희는 오토 컴피그를 하지 않겠습니다. 하고 나면 어 이제 <웃음> 컴피 그 로그들이 쭉쭉쭉 올라가게 됩니다. 조금 기다려 볼까요? 로그 안 올라오다가 제가 설정만 하려고 하면 로그가 올라오더라고요. 아, uh, from now on, uh, I will do configuration. Go to configure terminal and ah, uh, first we have to check. We have two Ethernet interfaces over there. And then first name is virtual w w l c sixteen dot twelve four a, and the right domain lookup always. I don't wanna do internet. Uh, and username Cisco privilege 15 and password Cisco. And enable password also Cisco. Okay. And line BTY04 password Cisco transfer to input or and and I will give the IP address first because each the fusion environment I will use DHCP. Then if the link will up, and it will get the IP address. Actually, we don't need to check. There will be log. It, it, it got an IP address. Blah blah blah. Okay, it's 156. Then for the uh, stability, I'll give IP address as a static. 156. And write. And then you can access the WAC using the uh, GUI, the web browser. So when you access the web, please use the uh, Firefox or Safari, not the Chrome, because certification issues. Then, I the password. You can see the GUI. We will do four things. First, we will make a, a, the wireless LAN, each SSID, and uh, some policies, and uh, we will set up the DHCP server, and we will make a VLAN for the host, actually VLAN 2, and VLAN mappings. First, we have to do the initial configuration. So, because I'm, the, I'm staying in Korea, I will use Korea, and for the US, I will remove it. Oh, remove it. Then just here is KE and remove it. I don't know why it's here. And this is port number 2 and VN2, VN1. And 196.168.1.7. It's in this topology actually. So WAC management is for the actual APs. So uh, this is uh, IP address for the APs. AP will join with that addresses. Then next here, don't do that. Then next, then you have to where is it? We have to uh, no generate because it will make huge errors initially. So I don't recommend to make here. We can make it later. And summary. Everything is fine, then finish. Okay, it's applied and successfully. Then we load it again. Then, as I told you, we can we will make a one the one SSID is very small one SSID that we will map, and we can, we will make a VN two for the. Host. Okay. 
pretty slow today because my laptop has some issues and my map is very slow here you can make a villain we can add we, we will call it as yame and yame and enable it and for the authentication I will use just PSK for the test and this password is yame yame then apply. Then what what we did is here, and we I will make uh, this be pool for the VLAN two. And VLAN name is one ninety six one sixty eight two, and network is one one sixty eight two dot zero, and IP restart with one hundred to the one ninety nine, and advanced. Advanced thing here is some default gateway and then server. And I will use Google. Okay, then apply. And then uh, we'll make a VLAN 2 here. If you go to C VLAN, we can add VLAN 2. VLAN 2. And IP option is here. IP address is 192.168.2.7. I you have to give it this IP address. If you don't, the DSP will not work. Okay, the admin is up, but the operation state is down because uh, if if the VM want to alive up. Any port should have a belong to VLAN 2. So here at the Ethernet, we will give this VLAN. The Ethernet 2 will have VLAN 2. VLAN 2 is actually the port between uh, WAC and the switch. So I will use all port apply. Then you can see this VLAN is alive. It's up. Okay. And I will make a policy mapping here. If I go to policy, I will use just default. So VLAN 2 will be used for the VLAN groups. And a police tag. You can go take us here at the policy. Just add the Yame VLAN is to the default policies. Pretty simple. Then it's time to uh, make a certification uh, for the APs, and it need also reboot. So here. Uh, this conf this config is uh, I will make bigger for you. Uh, this config is done not the uh, uh, in the comfort mode. This is very uh, just the enable mode. The wireless config v w w c key size to forty eight c h fifty six password. Zero and Cisco one two three. You don't remember this this character. Actually, this is my phone. This is not for the human. This is for the APs. Okay. Then this is made. This is done very well successfully. Okay, uh, well, I want to save the configuration. Then here I will save. And you have to reboot. If you don't reboot, it will not it will not work, and the AP will not join. So here you have to reboot, but don't reboot. It's reload, and you have to wait a little bit more, then confirm. Then it's rebooted. Also, it takes a six minute. We will wait six minutes. Then we will join the APs. So
for the APIs, just very simple. Just when you connect console, just every password is Cisco. Then give you these two command. This is the IP, uh, the IP of the IP, and this is the the IP of the WLC. Then and then it will join. If the version is not matched, the AP needs a reboot. So AP needs to take a, a time, like a five minutes like that. So anyway, if you wait, you can join. You know, usually, if there is any problems, it's about the, this one, verification and trust point. So if you follow this way, there will be no problems. So right now, because AP is rebooting, so this is uh, normal. So after five minutes later, it will join.
자, 부팅이 끝났습니다. 부팅이 끝났고요. 어, AP는 조인돼서 올라오고 있습니다. 그래서 저희 다시 한번 WAC 접속을 해보겠습니다. Oh, sorry. And right now the AP is joined successfully here. The log is it's like a uh, re-downloading certification and rejoining. So if you see, we can check about that. Here, the first screen. The AP number will be one, I guess. Here, the AP number is one. So, it means AP is successfully registered. So, uh, right now, I will join the, some client. Oh my god. Right now, it's not already up. So, what I saying is one. Here is here. Yeah, Yame. I will connect Yame. This 9992 is my client. Something wrong. Or, okay, I will join Cisco.com. Okay, it's working. It was reconnected. So Cisco.com and something logged here and 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 then if you go to dashboard you can see the client what's wrong okay <laughs> uh, this is my client a stated one is okay and my, my macbook is 11.ac so ac is working if you click it you can have more the information the signal quality is 53 is signal strength is 40 because I'm just to, like a six feet away it's very clear okay well done uh, I will show you about two troubleshooting tools actually the WSC have two tools uh, one thing is packet capture so if you have physical uh, WSC, you can use this one, I, think, I guess. So you can add any interface you want. Then you can give just name. Then if you click it, then it will start. But actually, for me, it didn't work. And I will visit google.com. Then it will show you. Now we stop it then export then if you see it just we can open it and we can check about the uh, uh, packet between our, our, our interface actually so uh, Wireshark shows kebab tunnel traffic and non kebab traffic and for the troubleshooting it will be very helpful, helpful to you and second thing is about radioactive trace it will show you about the more logs from WSC but to use this one okay only you have to add and to add you have to know MAC or IP addresses but usually usually we do use about MAC address usually so make it here Copy and troubleshooting and radioactive trace, add and add Mac. Then you have to start. Then I will turn off. Then I will turn on again. And Yame will work in, alright? Then I will stop it. Then generate for the 10 minutes.
อันนี้เรา just ตัวเลือกท้ายโอ้ยช์ too big and then if you download it you can see the about more detailed log about a specific Mac then it's pretty helpful for you to troubleshoot what's going on over there and and maybe it log is very large but usually we have to check about associate and or uh, delete or remove such a thing will help you for troubleshooting uh, this is all I prepared today just to, don't forget to uh, Cisco uh, WAC 9800 is it used tag so there is three tag three tag policy and site and RF is attached to the access point so if you change this one it menus uh, uh, and you can attach the tag to the here and automatically attach it here so just one thing in my final tip is when you config changing or to something you have to reset that function and then it will clearly apply it and the wire is totally different from wired if you're a beginner you need a little time to wait so when you apply something wait do a game or have a smoke or something then it will apply it okay thank you uh, this is Yamekim Sensei. See you next.